Some farms are taking precautions now to reduce their water use in preparation for any potential shortage declaration. But efficiency comes at a great cost. We will be forced back to close to 100% groundwater production to provide our growers. Hemp is 10 times stronger than cotton. It produces twice as much as an acre of cotton. It uses less water, is more disease resistant, and it grows in all 50 states. It doesn't mean one has to replace the other, they can work together. As more water is drawn out of the ground and levels fall, the cost of pumping it climbs. There are a few other possibilities for supplementing water supply, including leasing water from tribes. But there seem to be two inevitables here. One, in the future, there'll be less water. And two, it'll cost more. In the meantime, we're the farmers in Pinal County and the CAP districts, we're trying to get as efficient as we can with the water. Following is one of the words you hear a lot when talking about farming in this region. It means plots of land that aren't cultivated. Sometimes farmers decide to fallow land to give soil a rest, but increasingly, fallowing is used as a tool to reduce water use. Now, Farmers here are often criticized for growing water-intensive crops, like alfalfa, that are exported around the world. It's an economic activity, just like exporting computer chips that are made at Intel up in Chandler. It takes water to produce that. Uh, the crops we produce, uh, they need to go to wherever the market is. And so the world does better with trade and we're a part of that. Arizona's farmers are clearly facing a lot of challenges. There is a future for agriculture in this region. I think it'll be really interesting to see which crops are economically feasible here, which ones are politically allowed here, because I think that's, you know, water is going to be all about, you know, a legislative process of policy and, and who gets the water and who gets to use it. And, what is, the, what is the greatest and highest end use? There is one crop that we grow that I value the most. And if we had to choose one seed to keep on our farm, it is a crop that was grown by Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. It's the only crop that you can grow that will feed, clothe, shelter, and provide medicine for we the people. This is a crop that has been cultivated and consumed in every corner of the globe since humankind. It has over 25,000 identified uses for which we already have markets and are innovating markets for in the US. This crop is hemp. Hemp is, is super viable for everybody, but we need it more mainstream. It's time to rewrite a new chapter for hemp in our history, in American history, for you, for the farmers, for your children, for the future, for the elderly. It's hemp is for everyone.